हेलो दिस इज न्यूट्रिशनिस्ट हरप्रीत पसरीचा एंड वेलकम टू आदित्य बिरलास हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस हेल्थ फ्रॉम होम सीरीज नाउ कोविड 19 वी ऑल नो द वे इट इज स्प्रेडिंग इट इज द होल सिनेरियो इज चेंजिंग ऑन अ डेली बेसिस एंड नंबर्स हैव बीन इंक्रीजिंग एंड सीडीसी दैट इज योर सेंटर ऑफ डिजीज कंट्रोल हैज आइडेंटिफाइड वन ऑफ द ग्रुप टू बी मोस्ट वनरेबल एनी गेसेस yes it is the old age people that is our senior citizens people who are above 60 years of age they are twice as likely to develop a serious covid that means that if they get this infection the chances of the recovery probably would be lesser or it would take more time so one of the major reason everybody is emphasizing is that the older age people the senior citizens people above 60 years of age should not go out of the house at all even to buy their essentials so their essentials should be bought by either of their family members or their neighbors or even government is trying the best to provide them at home now when i'm talking to uh, you with regards to the people who are above 60 years of age what happens with them is their immunity somewhere compromised and why is it compromised one of the major reason is aging so as we age as we progress what happens is our immune system sometimes starts getting uh, compromised uh, because of our age two is if you uh, notice in people above 60 they usually have some or the other underlying uh, diseases that could be diabetes or it could be copd like lung disease it could be anything to do with hypertension or cardiac or kidney so they usually have an underlying disease which makes it more difficult for them to recover or and also to uh, more prone to any of the infections and any flus so it is not just the corona virus or this particular uh, covid 19 it could be any infections and flus because their immunity is compromised so somewhere they are more vulnerable hmm? so what can we do there are what i'm going to share in this series are certain tips now when i'm saying about tips i'm not just going to talk about only nutrition i'm also going to talk about some extra tips reason being as a nutritionist i feel your health is basically for things it is a holistic approach what we need to take care so whether it is your physical health social health spiritual health or mental health if all these four are healthy automatically it makes a person healthier then because a person is healthier the immune system is better okay so i will be discussing in the later part if uh, that what are the tips for that you may need a notebook and a pen so please arrange it and if you have any questions you may please uh, pop in and i will answer to those questions as well okay now what is the key for a good health for a key for a good health key for a good physical health is your right nutrition right nutrition means a balanced nutrition now as per us as per our med, uh, the dietitians and nutritionists when we talk about a balanced nutrition it means that we should have good quantity or right quantity and uh, right type of macronutrients micronutrients and also hydrate our system so that is to build a good health now to build good immunity there are other things which i'm going to talk about as well so macronutrients now you must wondering what are macronutrients some of you may be knowing about it so macronutrients means your carbohydrates fats proteins they all come under a group of macronutrients now carbohydrate means a good carbohydrate we just don't need any kind of carbohydrate a good complex carbohydrate is one of the best thing uh, for energy so whether it is your wheat rice jowar bajra fruits they all give us carbohydrates now protein protein we uh, you must be knowing it comes from dals that is your uh, any kind of chana dal or moong dal toar dal then is your uh, uh, dairy products like uh, milk or paneer or dahi then we talk about nuts now almond walnut cashew nut peanuts these are all good source of proteins okay and then uh, we talk about fat now fat means we need a restrictive quantity of fat especially when we are aging so people who are above 60 and during this time when the moment is very less we don't need too heavy food or we don't need uh, too much of fried food but yes you also need a right 
kind of food right quantity of fat which is also very important so where does the fat come from the fat comes from the visible fat invisible fat visible fat which we see that is your ghee butter makkhan tel these all come under visible fat we can see them and invisible fat comes from your nuts and seeds so whether i'm saying pumpkin seed sunflower seed walnut they all are invisible source of your fats which are also a good fat so this is your group of carbohydrate uh, macronutrients that is your carbohydrate fat and protein now when we talk about micronutrients these micronutrients they are they basically are like a, they uh, compromise of all the uh, vitamins and minerals so vitamins and minerals you all know that they help in protecting the body they keep our body disease free they keep uh, our skin hair immune system so there is of each micronutrient there are so many of micronutrients whether it is vitamin a vitamin c e vitamin k uh, selenium chromium zinc biotin they all come under micronutrients so though the requirement in the body is very less of each of uh, these mic uh, these micronutrients your vitamins and minerals but they play an important function in your body okay and at this point if you are not able to eat lot of vegetables or lot of fruits because there is one uh, you are not probably stepping out of the house to buy them and two the availability is a little uh, issue you could also speak to your doctor your medical practitioner and take a suggestion if he would like to suggest any kind of uh, vitamin and mineral supplements at this particular point you may need these kind of supplements because vitamin c as i told you is good for your immunity vitamin a for skin and for eye so we need all these vitamins and minerals at this point okay so now uh, as, as we were discussing that is macronutrient micronutrients they are your major food groups then is your water hydration is also very very important at this point so you need to make sure that you are eating uh, you are drinking enough water as well so at least 15 glasses in a day yes if anybody has a kidney issue or a lung issue then may, they may have to restrict the quantity of uh, water as well to maybe 10 or 12 glasses please speak to your doctor and figure out how much water and how many glasses or how many ml of water you need to drink so this is the key what i was talking was the nutrition okay wherein which is helping us building a strong body now what about immunity for immunity we need a lot of uh, foods we need antibacterial antiviral foods antioxidants so these where do they come from okay they come from our spices our herbs so spices means whatever spices we use at our place whether it is rai or jeera dhania green chili or black pepper cinnamon nutmeg they have uh, the properties like a medicinal properties and they can help building our immunity so at this point we have to make sure that we are also consuming this which i'm sure most of you are doing but you have to put an extra effort to probably do an additional use of this along with that uh, as i was mentioning to you some herbs so if you are getting any kind of microgreens or dhania or if you can grow any of these things at home one simple uh, tip i would give is if you have methi seeds just sow them in small pot and you'll see small small shoots coming out and those are uh, excellent uh, microgreens which you can use and you can add it in your food so they all are uh, going to give you your uh, antiviral antibacterial and antioxidant dose okay now next uh, what i'm going to talk about which you may need a copy and a pen i'm going to give you small small tips which you may use on a regular uh, basis on a daily basis and improve your body's health and immune system so my first tip to you is that make sure you are doing a well cooked that is soft food now when we talk about soft food it is somewhat semi digested already so for example instead of eating like a rajma or a chana you might do a khichdi which is it is softer it is easy to digest at this point you need a softer and easily digestible food and not the kind of foods which can cause some kind of flatulence or gaseous now that would cause your discomfort and then you would like to run to a doctor we don't want you to enter into the hospitals at this point so eat well cooked soft cooked easy digestible food 
Now, when I'm talking about food, also I would want you to restrict your quantities. So at this point, because the movement is lesser, we are not able to walk as much. We are not going out for our regular exercises and all, which is also causing some kind of frustration in a lot of people. So you may need to restrict or reduce your food quantities. So maybe a smaller frequent meals or reducing the 25%. Say for example, if you're doing two chapatis, instead of two chapatis, you do about one and a half. And secondly, be careful, you need to chew your food well because once you're chewing your food, it helps in digestion. These are very small tips, but they can really help you in digesting your food well and in uh, all the discomfort which comes in with some foods, it may reduce all that. Third is uh, completely avoid salads at this point. Okay, one, because uh, they can have some kind of infections, they can cause some kind of indigestion and two, it is difficult to digest. So whether it is any salad, cucumber and stuff, avoid it at this time. And along uh, when we talk about fruit, say for example, you have apple or you have pear or you have guava at home, make sure that you're removing the pool, uh, peel out of it because that will also help. Okay. Now, post your meals, that is after your breakfast, lunch, dinner, just try and get up and stay active for two to three minutes or five minutes if it is possible for you. Okay, so if you're not um, if a little active, just try and keep moving, uh, maybe count about 500 to 700 steps after each meal and slightly just keep walking. You mean, uh, and that's inside the house, that will also help in digesting your food. Now we have to use spices and herbs because one, it will help in building immunity, two, it will also aid in digestion. So when I'm talking about uh, haldi, okay, that is curcumin or uh, cinnamon or nutmeg, they all help in building immunity. But spices like ajwain or jeera or dhania, that is a sukha dhania, the dry coriander seeds, they all help in digestion process as well. So use a lot of these uh, spices and herbs in your uh, food, what you're cooking. So whether it is kadi patta, rai, jeera, or sukha dhania, black pepper, cinnamon, haldi, try and use in most of your meals. And maybe if you want to increase a little bit of those quantities, if you're doing five kadi patta and dal, maybe try about 10 or 15. So that all will help. These are very small tips, but they are really going to help you. Then I'm going to give you a recipe of a power soup. Okay. A lot of people are not having vegetables at home. So this soup can be done without a vegetable. Hmm. So you take a kala chana, the small brown chana, which is wood color, not the kabuli chana and soak it overnight. And then you pressure cook it, pressure cook it well. Now the water, what you get, okay, is our power soup. Now this water, you have to put in a couple of tulsi leaves. A little bit of ajwain into it and boil it for good another three to four minutes now this water strain it off if you want to add a little salt and black pepper it's up to you and drink this soup at least three to four times a week and you'll see uh, you'll feel better with this it'll give you a lot of energy it has uh, proteins into it and it is also an anti-inflammatory so it'll really help you so try this soup if you want me to repeat I can repeat it again Take black chana, soak it overnight, next day nicely pressure cook it. The water what you get, you need to put a couple of tulsi leaves and a juin, that is your carom seeds and then boil it for another 3-4 minutes, strain it off and drink this water. Okay, This is like a soup which you need to drink 3 or 4 times a week. Then is uh, your decoction. I want you to do one decoction. Most of you at this age know what kind of spices, what kind of herbs suit you. And if you're diabetic, I would want you to use a cinnamon stick and nutmeg in that decoction. And if you're not diabetic and you're just working, so depending on what is your problem. Say for example, you're diabetic, I would want you to take a glass of water, put some nutmeg into it, put some cinnamon and boil it nicely and drink this at least once a day. Okay, people who all those who have a lot of uh, cuff or phlegm which keeps coming in or they get cold uh, more frequently, what they can do is they can take a juin and tulsi and ginger and boil that and drink uh, this water 
around or maybe after your meals or after your maybe in the evening so try and avoid these things early morning empty stomach because sometimes these uh, spices and these herbs can give you uh, acidic uh, feeling so post meal is one of the best time to do this so try to make some of the decoctions and don't over boil them just take about uh, 250 ml of water and boil it till it becomes 200 ml of water okay completely avoid any cold foods at this point so whether it is your dahi or whether which is refrigerated or it is refrigerated fruits or it is the cold water avoid them uh, at this point because we don't want you to you know get more prone so if there is a slight infection you you get more vulnerable to any kind of infections so you have to keep yourself and guard yourself at this point so for guarding you should not drink cold water you should gargle every day even though you have no cold and no cup gargling twice a day will only keep your throat and your you know it will keep it clear and steam so before you sleep in the night if you can take a slight steam that will also help to keep your lungs and your nostrils everything clear and along with this now because uh, some of you must be staying alone your children are out in another city or another country so you may be getting very fearful at this point so try and do positive thinking do positive affirmations say everything will be fine this is a small phase this is a, a phase which will definitely get over try do breathing exercises that will relax you okay so and um, try and do video calls talk to them more often and try and keep the anxiety away you all if you are uh, above 60 and you're listening to me today in this series you have seen wars earlier okay you've seen the blackouts this is just a lockdown okay don't get anxious this phase will pass off just give it couple of days but at this point what is more important and most important is you if you take care of yourself you're not getting anxious you're doing your breathing exercises try to do movements try to physically stay healthy by eating right eating well balanced diet i'm sure you will pass through this phase also very easily and uh, you'll be safe and you will be um, healthy even after this phase so my tip of the day today is include a probiotic in your diet okay so probiotic we can get in form of curd okay so if you have milk uh, available try and put curd and have uh, homemade curd or you could also do small quantities of homemade pickles or even fermented food say when we talk about idli dosa they are fermented they also uh, can give you a probiotic so probiotics will keep your gut healthy and gut is one of the uh, important part to be healthy if you want to build your immune system